So for our third annotated reading, we'll be taking a look at an interesting combination of personal narrative and social analysis with Umberto Eco's Ur Fascism. I think you'll all find it a bit more engaging and maybe even enjoyable than the selection from Freud we looked at a couple of weeks ago. Eco was an Italian scholar and novelist who passed away just a few years ago. Although he was a highly prolific writer, he's best known for his first novel, The Name of the Rose, a mystery set in a medieval monastery. If you like the novels of Dan Brown, you might want to check out The Name of the Rose, as it's about a hundred times better than The Da Vinci Code. As you'll see in the essay, Echo, born in 1932, was a child during World War II and during the final decade of Mussolini's rule in Italy. If you're not too familiar with Benito Mussolini, uh, it's likely because we in America tend to focus our understanding of World War II on Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany. However, what made that conflict a world war was that a coalition of anti-fascist countries, the Allies, most notably the United Kingdom, the United States, Russia, and China, were fighting on multiple fronts against the Axis powers, a coalition of fascist countries, namely Hitler's Germany, Mussolini's Italy, and Hirohito's Japan. As is often the case with fascist states, Italy fell under the sway of the highly charismatic Mussolini in the 1930s. As Echo will explain, the fascism of Mussolini imposed upon Italy was in many ways different from what Hitler enacted in Germany. Ultimately, Echo will provide the criteria he believes are common amongst all forms of fascism, or what he calls ur-fascism. As a prefix, ur means original. Along the way, Echo will mention a great many names in passing, often without much or any context. For people unsure of what to annotate, offer a note providing some context. Uh, look the person up on Wikipedia, then provide your own explanation of that person. You don't have to say much. For example, if you're annotating a reference to Mussolini, you might just say Benito Mussolini, founder of the Italian Fascist Party, Prime Minister of Italy, 1922-1943, ally of Adolf Hitler. With the annotated readings, everyone should be attempting to be consistent throughout the reading. Posting one note on a 20-page reading really doesn't suggest a great deal of effort. Remember, you can also respond to other people's annotations. As you read, please watch for two specific connections. First, look for how the fascism that Echo is describing parallels the methods of the party in 1984. Remember that Orwell wrote 1984 just three years after the end of World War II, but before that he served as a reporter during the Spanish Civil War, a conflict that eventually saw a different kind of fascism installed in Spain. Again, these are great places to add annotations, even if someone has already done so. Add some extra details, provide some deeper context. Second, look for parallels to recent events around the world. If Echo is providing us a blueprint for recognizing any mutation of fascism, then it's a blueprint we want to use as we consider our world in the early 21st century. All right, I look forward to seeing what you all have to say.